morning. So it is 7.15 in the morning. I decided to film a what I eat in a day video. First thing I do is drink kombucha on an empty stomach before I eat anything. So I'm drinking my kombucha in my Yeti wine templar because it makes me feel like I'm treating myself first thing in the morning. So yeah, that's what I do. Well. That's what I do first thing in the morning. So it is now 7.30. So I drank that kombucha about 15 minutes ago. And I didn't drink the whole glass because it was just a little too much. It makes me feel a little yucky um, for a minute. And then I feel good. And then I feel really ready to eat. I'm having granola. And into the granola, I mix some of this. This has flax seeds, chia seeds, and coconut, but it's not sweet, so you can literally put it on anything. It has protein, all natural energy, and it's true, this does help give you energy. Good fiber source, omegas, flax seeds, um, you get a lot of really good omega fatty acids from flax seeds. So I mixed that into there and cut up a banana and put that in there and then poured some flax milk over it. I'm an almond milk person, personally. But I tried this flax milk. I watched a video about the benefits of the omega-3s that flax milk has. So I decided to give it a try. And I really like it. It kind of tastes like soy milk. Um, but I got the vanilla one and it's it's really, really tasty. So mm. I'm going to eat this. And it is early in the day. So... I'll probably have a snack before lunch. So I'll check in when I do that. I don't know if this counts as something that I'm eating, but I am making a cup of green tea. Just get a little bit of caffeine in me. So it's 10.30 now, and I haven't had anything. I had that cup of green tea around nine, I wanna say, 8.39. And I thought I'd probably want a snack by now, but that breakfast and that cup of tea really filled me up. So I might actually have one more cup of tea just for a little bit more caffeine kick. But I also am doing a crock pot meal tonight because it's Tuesday and on Tuesdays I do crock pot meals. I'm going to just show you guys how I make that and maybe give you a crock pot dinner idea. Hi, so I'm making jambalaya in the crock pot chicken jambalaya so um it has like veggies and stuff in it and sausage but for now um, i'm just getting the chicken broth and the chicken breast in the crock pot so that can start going because the chicken's raw so that's what i'm doing now and then we'll chop some veggies and if you want an exact recipe let me know and i will and i will give it to you so for this part, you want to set your crock pot. I'm going to set it for like two hours on high. And then I'm just going to put some water in here, like a cup, and swish it around and then put that in the crock pot as well. Now I'm just going to put the chicken breasts in there. And y'all know me and my gloves with raw stuff. So I'm just putting two chicken breasts in here. So I'm just going to put the lid on and now I'm gonna head over and prep the rest of it I'm gonna cut up the veggies cut up the sausage um, get the seasonings all ready and then we'll add all that to our crock pot as well and then just let it go on high just get everything going I'll let that go on high for a couple hours and then I'll turn it on low um, for the rest of the day just so it sort of cooks low and slow and really let the meat get tender and let those flavors really develop so here's everything else that you're gonna need. Not these, ignore that. So I'm going to use a beef smoked sausage and I'm just gonna cut this into little, little like discs. Then I'm gonna do half of an onion and two red bell peppers. Josh doesn't like pieces of pepper in his food. So I'm just gonna cut those into big chunks and just put them in the crock pot so it can get all the flavor out of it and then pull them out um, 
at the end so it just has the flavor of it but not actual like mushy pepper pieces then I'm gonna do um, I've got three pretty big pieces of two big cloves of garlic and one more medium one we love garlic so I'm just gonna put a little extra then you're gonna need some Cajun spice a bay leaf and then salt and pepper so I'm just gonna get that all prepped and then put it in our crock pot I have tried every trick in the book to not cry while cutting onions. If anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take you over and show you um, me just putting everything in the crock pot. But first, I forgot to mention that the recipe calls for some hot sauce. Put a few shakes of this into the crock pot. And I decided to put all the seasonings in the crock pot with the broth and the chicken while it heated up so it could really infuse the, excuse me, really infuse the flavors. So I did that with the bay leaf. And then I just did like, I don't know, like a tablespoon or so of this stuff. And then when it's all cooked and I taste it, if I feel like it needs more, then I'll add more. This is just a Cajun seasoning. So now we're going to go put the rest of our ingredients into the crock pot. We have our smoked sausage, our pieces of red bell pepper, and then our half an onion and our cloves of garlic. I'm just going to mix that all in together. Going to put the lid back on and let that go for about an hour and a half and then I'm going to turn it down to low and then we're going to add some brown rice to it when we're about ready to eat it so I'll show you that in a little bit all right so it is now 11 30 and I'm ready for some lunch so I fought the urge I really wanted to make some rice noodles um, for lunch and mix it with like chicken and a bunch of stuff but Dinner is pretty heavy, like that soup, um, and it's gonna have rice in it, so I wanted something a little bit lighter for lunch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up half of a cucumber, um, half of an avocado, half, maybe I'll do a full avocado, we'll see. Half a tomato, and put that in a bowl and put some, put some of these sprouts in it. So these are spicy sprouts. I think they're just normal, like alfalfa, they're clover and radish sprouts is what they are. And that's really good. It helps out a little crunch, a little bit of flavor. So I'm gonna add that, mix it up with some lemon juice and some, excuse me, garlic salt and pepper and just mix that up. And I'll probably eat it with some chips. Let me show you the chips that I like. These right here. I really like these. They're tasty and they're super nutty because they have a bunch of seeds and stuff in them. I'm probably put some more of these flax, chia and coconut mixture in my little salad thing so I'm gonna show you how I make it it's gonna be really easy and fresh I've only been eating like a lot healthier this is going on my second week after a while of just not really caring and I already feel so much better like just physically, I just feel so much better. I cheated a little bit on Sunday and ate some uh, like processed, like junkier food, and I paid for it the rest of the day. And so for me, it's just not worth it. Like eating healthy is not super hard. It's tasty, and it's easy to learn how to do. 
and your body thanks you for it. So I don't know why you would need a better reason to switch over to a healthier lifestyle. I, I think it's way better. It helps to like don't eat healthy like there's so many healthy options out there and if you force yourself to eat the healthy food that you don't like then you're not gonna stick to the diet so try to find foods healthy foods that you actually enjoy and it'll make eating healthy so much easier All right, let's give this a taste to check for seasoning. Mmm. That's perfect. And I'll probably eat part of it just like with a fork and then I'll part part of it I'll eat on those chips. Just because I like having something a little bit carby, a little bit like textured and crunchy. So that's why I like, um, it's one of the reasons why I like to have those green like chips like that any other food I eat throughout the day between here and dinner I will let you guys know it's four o'clock now and we probably won't eat till around seven tonight because that's when Josh will get be getting home but I have to put the rice in because it has to cook the rice has to cook for a few hours this has been cooking for several hours and that's what it looks like right now I just pulled out the peppers and the bay leaf now I'm going to dump the rice in. This is brown basmati rice and I rinsed it. Um, rinsing the rice gets some of the starchiness off and I think helps it cook a little faster. So I'm just going to stir that in. I took the chicken out because it was all the way cooked and then I cut it into just like one inch cubes and just returned it to the pot. So now we're just gonna let that go and, and I'll just keep an eye on it. You'll be able to tell when the rice is cooking because it'll puff up. So I'll check on that here in a couple hours and then we're ready to, when we're ready to eat it, I'll show you what it looks like. I just had a little bit of popcorn for a snack, like the skinny pop stuff. I just get it like in the bags. And another thing is to make sure to drink lots of water. Those blue things are ice cubes. They're like the reusable kind. Let me show you the kind of water I like. I get alkaline water because it like, I have acid reflux and so the alkaline water helps. But I love these Hint Waters. I've always just gone by the half your body weight in ounces a day. That's kind of what I've done. And honestly, like, I don't know. I just try to drink like a couple of those cups a day and just try to make sure that I'm staying hydrated and like feeling good. Um, and it's a big part of what I consume every day, for sure. And it helps if you get yourself a really cute little cup or a nice water bottle. It helps you have a really cute cup to drink out of. It really, it seems corny, but it really does work. Here is the finished product. You can see the rice is all cooked. That's the consistency of it. It's not super thick, but not super soupy. So you have the chicken in there and the sausage. And it tastes yummy, it's a little bit spicy. You can serve it just in a dish. Um, with some sour cream and some onions on the top, like some green onions, that's really yummy. You can also add beans to it, it's really yummy with beans. So yeah, it's, it's a really yummy, tasty dinner that's really filling and it's great on a chilly winter night. That's today's video. This is my what I eat in a day. I, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope maybe you learned something like I said earlier, if you want the full recipe of this, I can give it to you. Good night. See you in the next one.